Hello everyone and welcome to this new video. Now it is Tuesday and that means there is a game update and for the first update that Jags has for us of uh, January is Ports 2. So this is the player owned Ports extension. Um, it looks really good. There's three new adventures. Um, as you can see here there are also two new regions. So um, with these two new regions, there's over 300 new uh, voyages that you can complete. So that's really good, as well as new resources, Azur and Terracotta. And this will basically upgrade uh, your ships even further. So it's like another tier of the um, morale, seafaring, and combat. So that'll really help out um, in these upcoming regions that you're going to have to complete, as well as two new trade goods for the new equipment that has been released. So you're going to need pearls and koi scales. And these new high level like uh, equipment that you'll be able to make is uh, a cape and ring and level 85 throne uh, weapons. So the three new Adventures are as followed, Architect, Chef, and Trapper, so you're going to need level 90 Construction, 90 Cooking, and 90 Hunter. If you want to get those new uh, equipment. So just like the other um, adventures, you'll have like story missions, and they'll also give you the trade goods as you complete the story missions, so you'll get more and more as time goes on. So we'll just get into the new equipment. So you'll have the Reef Walker's Cape, which is a level 85 cape that requires uh, defense and constitution. So this is a rather high level uh, cape for all you like PVMers out there. I'm guessing that it's going to be under the completionist cape, even though it says that it's the best in slot. So I'm really hoping that it, the completionist cape still is because that would really devalue it, but yeah. So there's the tradable version, which will degrade to nothing, and the superior version, which will, um, once it degrades to nothing, or once it degrades down to zero, you'll be able to repair it for a cost. Um, and that will require level 90 crafting and koi scales. So now we move on to the Levithan ring, which is level 85 as well, and requires defense and constitution and offering a 2 or 5% chance to half the damage of attacks made against the wearer, plus hardy critical chance boost for all styles of combat. So this will also come in a tradable as well as untradable state, and I'm guessing that it's going to be the best ring in game, so you're definitely going to want to get your hands on this if you're one of those uh, players who always go for the best gear. Uh, the next thing, or well, I guess the final as well is Death Lotus Darts, which um, is a level 85 thrown weapon. And I'm hoping that you'll be able to make a lot of these rather than, um, well, a lot of them out of a few resources. That way they'll actually be worth using. So you'll, you're going to need 92 fletching for this and ancient bones and ascension shards for the, these thrown uh, Death Lotus Darts. All right, so now we move on to the shoring up, which basically there's random events and mini games that are in there. Well, random events. And we'll need level 90 to start this. All right, so that's basically the end of that. So if you don't know where Ports is, this kind of tells you, but that's as expected. Like you should already have completed everything there. So. Now to move on to some other things that they have sort of introduced today or that is going on. So of course they have to promote the squeal wheel, which they'll be giving a fallen stars for rather than the XP lamps because it gives you more XP, but you'll have to train it to get all that XP, if that makes sense. Um, they introduced some Bandos and Armadil armor overrides as well as some teleports. And finally they introduced this. I don't know why it took so long, but you can now use your trade resources to repair your ports armor. So that's really nice. All right, for the immediate future, the Black Marketeer and Trader will not offer Azure or Terracotta. So um, that's not a glitch if you're trying to buy some of that. 
Um, I guess they just, I don't know why, why they're not going to let the black marketeers sell that to us, but oh well. Um, the Christmas events are now gone. They won't be around until next year, obviously, and they have made some changes to Next where you can basically start an instanced fight of Next like the other God Wars dungeon bosses. Um, Next will now deflect magic instead of deflect range on every other fight. And also, to help you guys out, Next Wings will uh, change when uh, she's deflecting. So green while deflecting range, blue while deflecting mage, and red orange when deflecting melee. So that's really helpful. Kind of like the Caliphate King there. Um, and the Virtus Wand and Book now degrade. So um, I don't know why it took so long for them to introduce that. Um, because all the other, well, the other weapon there, the... Uh, Zeret bow degrades, so I shouldn't the uh, Virtus wand. And finally, the royal crossbow no longer recharges by the forging fire attack, which is like the super hot breath. But now you'll have to use royal crossbow components on the crossbow to recharge it by 25%. So this will kind of help um, keep a stable uh, money making method for people killing uh, QBD because these. Uh, components will now be worth something because even if you have the crossbow you have to have these components to repair it so i think that's a good move on jags's part so yeah we'll just sort of see how all these little small tweaks play out but now let's just move on into game here to check out ports so if i just log in here i'm just standing outside the portal so we can go ahead and do that and we'll see what we need to do for the completion escape all right. So let's go ahead and enter ports. All right, so let's try on the completionist cape. And I need to find all the pieces of the Reef Walker cape, Forgotten Scroll. So I'm guessing if we just go to port management and we move over here. Where is it? Reef Walker Cape. So I just have to find all of the... Um, yeah, here we go. This basically means that the completion Cape will be as good as the Reef Walker Cape because you have to basically unlock the ability to make it. So that way they know that they can give you the completion Cape, which is uh, the best Cape. So now all these are 3% critical. So that's really nice to see. So I guess I'm just going to... I don't know why this changed. It was the Cursed Samurai when helps the Blast and Knife, so I don't know what's up with that. So I got some plate. So let's go ahead and see the voyages that I have now. So special voyages, I have six. So as you can see here, there are a lot of story missions. And I'm going to go ahead and go for the scroll because I really want to get my completion's cape back ASAP. So send this one out, 91%, that shouldn't be too hard to get. And we'll just sort of see, what, all right, that's combat, what's this one? Seafaring. And this one, like, of course it is the first story, so they're really easy um, requirements here, only 1200 seafaring and 20 minute voyage, so that's not gonna take too long. And then let's see what I can do here. Do I have combat here? Yeah. So we'll go ahead and send this one out, 20 minutes. Um, I'll come back to that one, but I'm just gonna flip through here. Oh wait, I actually have to send these out now because I have to make progress towards the next region. So that's going to be a bit of an issue, but we can work by it. All right, my seafaring's already out for that, so I can't send that one out. But I'm just wondering like how long these voyages will be because these are eight hours right here. So I can only imagine how long the other ones are going to take. So I'm just gonna go ahead and send out my lacquer here. And so I still have 15 voyages here, but I'm just going to flip through these. All right, so I can do the seafaring. And I was gonna flip this one because my my trio thing there is not going to come back. So I'm just trying to find one that's, there we go, just morale. So that one will help out. Um, so I'm only going to be sending out 
four of these today probably because of school. So now since I sent out all those, I can go ahead and check my archipelago map. And we'll just see how far along we are. So 28% to the next zone. So I guess I should have sort of been on that to uh, get more of the stainless steel, but that's going to take a very long time because right now I have 32,000 stainless steel and I'm only 28% of the way to the next region so that's going to be a little bit difficult. So as we can see here pearls and koi scales are going to be required here. Um, let's see what exactly Arif it tells us uh, what these what the stats are of these things. All right so untradable miscellaneous gear Uh, so it doesn't really tell us that you need a hundred koi scales for this, the reef walker cape. So this is actually going to be really good for people without completionist cave. Like this is going to be really OP and you're not even going to have to bother with getting completionist cave really, to be honest. Then we have the superior ring here. A hundred pearls as well. Or 100 resources but pearls for this one instead and then all right so i wanted to see what the death lotus darts looked like here so for every 10 you use one ancient bone and a hundred ascension shards so how many bones do i have 80 so yeah not bad 800 so yeah this really covers it for the uh, ports update here on the 7th of January. Um, but yeah, I'm really going to be looking forward to actually making progress in ports rather than just sort of checking it daily and getting more resources. And I'm going to sort of enjoy getting these normal resources rather than the trade goods. So yeah, this should be really fun. I mean, it's probably going to take uh, us until like the summer of 2014 because these voyages are going to be very long it's going to take longer to get to the next region um, I'm not really sure what the trim requirement is I guess you're gonna have to do all the story missions that's really it as well as get the um, scrolls for the reef walker cape but that's really only going to take you four days so I should have my completionist cape back by Friday so yeah that'll be really good to get that back but in the meantime I'm just going to have to use the arty cape for the teleport to uh, the arty farm so I guess I can live with that and also have to deal with my max cape <laughs> instead although I may want to use my dungeoneering cape but this just looks nice for the time being and yeah that should really do it thank you again very much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one but until then take care everyone